good Jesus and not of evil. The, the Bible says that indeed the thought of God is good. For goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He said, though I walk through the valley of shadows of death, I will not fear evil. By his stripes that he has brought, we have been made whole. Faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, faith is, whatever you hope for, whatever you desire, believe it, and let it be that you have been done. He said unto him, that your faith has made you Oh, you have to rise up, that is take your bed, and walk. Sleep and record that we have not. But what we have, we shall give unto you. Rise up and walk. And the Lord says, somebody has touched me. Who touched me? Somebody has touched the hem of the garment. And the Lord found the woman and said, Thy faith has made you great. In the beginning was what? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I welcome you wherever you are. This is the hour of encouragement, the encouragement hour. I want to say good morning to those that are in the planet Earth where the morning is still. Good afternoon to those that are in the planet Earth where the afternoon is still. And good evening to those that are still in the planet Earth where evening is raining right now. Wherever God has placed you, the Lord has not made you a mistake. He has not made a mistake in your placement. Wherever you are, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the earth. Quickly, uh, by the hodge of, uh, you know, the dropping of, of burden in my heart, uh, the leading of Holy Spirit, over time, there is critical issues that have come into my attention and into the attention of others. Where somebody have asked me, brother, what is obedience? And uh, I I have found it very simple to understand, to, 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 to understand and to relate to the brother. But at a second thought, I found it very uh, defying because over time people have run into errors in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the name of obedience. Hallelujah. Or in the cloth of obedience, people have been robbed, people have been uh, have been have been abused, people have been bullied. Some Christian has lost, you know, their entitlement. They've lost their integrity just because they were lured to obey. Hallelujah. So in a new series that will be coming forth, we'll be we'll be studying the word obedience. And um, not only studying the word obedience, how it is relevant in our time and season. So that you will not be blown by every wind of doctrine that is out there. You will be a Christian, you will be a believer that trusts and that is certain of his obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll be looking at obedience to God, majorly obedience to God. However, there are there are dimensions of obedience. There are dimension to obedience, or there are dimension of obedience. And one is the obedience to God. The other one is the obedience to devil. There is obedience to 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 sin, obedience to wickedness, obedience to principalities and powers. There are rules, you know, that get hold of our imagination sometimes. So we are also going to look at obedience to man. In the context of man, we're going to be looking at person, your own person. How can you be obedient to your person? And uh, bodies in terms of family, obedience to family, obedience to friendship, relationship, that comes under bodies. And obedience, you know, be obedience in the form of uh, to, to, to man, we'll be looking at the form of um, structures and standards. Sometimes we tend to obey standards and structures. And uh, that sometimes go get us into contradicting the desire of God in our life. So we'll be looking at that. And also we'll be looking at uh, the governance. The governance in terms of any place in the organization you belong, in the church you belong, 
in the society, in the country you belong, the town. We'll be looking at obedience to governance. And we'll also be looking at tradition and principles, practice, customs, obedience to traditions, principles, customs. So sometimes this front far of our obedience to God. So we'll be looking at every of these areas, every of these faces based on the Bible, based on the word of God. Hallelujah. We'll look at the highs, we'll look at, we'll look at it from the highs of the scripture and see how it is relevant in our own time. I can tell you that a complete obedience is obedience to God. There's nothing like partial obedience. There's nothing like, uh, uh, you know, one leg there, one leg there, obedience. Obedience is obedience. Obedience has no replication. It has no photocopy. Hallelujah. It has no duplicate. Obedience is obedience. And when the law requires a thing to be done, it must be done in totality. It is not, if it is not obedience, it cannot be obedience to God. So we will be focusing majorly on the obedience to God in this coming series. And I believe that you will be blessed when you hook up to this series that will be coming. The theme will be obedience to God, the biblical way. Hallelujah. Obedient to God, the biblical way. Or we can say obedient to God, God's way of obedience or God kinds of obedience. Hallelujah. We will be looking at the God's kind of obedience also. We'll be looking at what is God's kind of obedience. And from the drop and from the from the interest that is already drawn to this team, we'll be looking at God's kind of obedience is always the source. God is always the source. So if you want to weigh your obedience and it's not God's source, if God is not the source, if it has to do with the things of God and God is not the source, check out that obedience before you act, before God begins to ask you, who have sent you, who have asked you to do it. Hallelujah. And also, one thing we should be gaining from this study is that God's kind of obedience is God only desire the praise deserve the praise it is obedient that will give god the praise man has nothing to do the glory would not be unto man yes the appreciation will not be unto man the 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 praise will not be unto man it will be unto god so god comes of obedience desires and commands praise to him him alone remember he said there is no other god except him so his, his glory must not be shared. His praise must not be shared. The gratitude to him must be due to him alone. Hallelujah. The kind of obedience, the God kind of obedience, also one of the benefits we'll be learning from this team and this series that will be starting quite in a, in a quite moment from now is that the God's kind of obedience can be effectual. It can be it, it can be effectual. It can, it can be it can be transmittable. Hallelujah. It can be transmittable. It can be effectual. Your obedience can make blessings. It can make way for another person. It can make people to enjoy life. Your obedience can make people to enjoy life in abundance. So we want to look at the God's kinds of obedience or the obedience to God. Hallelujah. So one of the benefits also that will be coming out from this series is that God's kind of obedience is based on faith. So if it is not faith driven, it is not obedience to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, you can have the obedience to man that benefits the humanity. Hallelujah. But the obedience to God must be faith driven. Hallelujah. Must be faith led. Hallelujah. You must have the source as God. The God must be the driving force. Hallelujah. Despite you might have a desire, you have to commit it into the hands of God before action is being placed. Yeah, you might be acting, yet your heart is center of God. It must not be in one dimension, in another dimension, or one methodology, way of obeying God. It the thing is that your heart must be stirred unto him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And uh, as time goes on, we'll be having more of this benefit of this study. And the last is that one of the things is that the God kind of obedience will drive us to know that the kind, the God's kind of obedience can be provoked. 
it can be learned hallelujah you can learn it to obey god you can you can provoke people to obey god hallelujah praise the lord it is not it will not be it will not be it will not be desirable for you to force people to obey god but it will be more desirable for you to provoke people to obey god and i believe that you will not want to miss this starting team to obey is better than sacrifice hallelujah may the lord bless you as you hook up to these teachings in the name of jesus amen